there's something very delightful about getting something that hadn't run in 60 years functioning again. So it's kind of like raising the dead, really. It's like creating motorcycle zombies. <laughs> Originally, I, I grew up in the southeast of England, and my teenage years, I basically got into the whole cafe racer scene. We used to hang out at tea shops and road race. My name's Chris Kelland. I'm founder and co-owner of Limey Bikes Vintage Motorcycles in Austin, Texas. I used to ride horses in Ohio when I was younger. Kind of the same feeling that I get when I'm on a motorcycle this animal that could do anything. Kind of the same thing with a motorcycle, especially an old motorcycle where it gets finicky. You have to really like work with it and understand it. And I think that's what really drew me into it. Kind of being powerless and powerful at the same time. I'm Caitlin Krause Torres. I've lived in Austin, Texas for the past five years. You were stuck to a 50cc bike when you were 16. You could not legally ride anything bigger. So all the kids who were 16 and wanted their first motorcycle, they went for the fastest 50cc bike out there. The 1974 Yamaha FS1E, otherwise known as the Fizzy. It was the first bike I ever sat on, it was the first bike I ever started, and it was the first bike I ever crashed on. <laughs> out riding I feel vulnerable I also feel powerful and I think there's a sense of connection kind of this sense of being in control I had a little Honda MBX 50 I had to maintain it so I just started to learn how to do this stuff myself you drive out a little ways in any direction and you know you hit some different landscapes as I became a better writer, I kind of branched out and found a little community of female writers. I think why I do this, I can't think of any other reason other than the love of the machine. Personally, all I do bring to the table is keeping as many of these bikes running and in good condition as I can, and that's really all I care about. With a newer bike, you're not going to be working on it the same way you would with an old bike. You can take it somewhere like Limey Bikes where Chris is going to teach you and really make you feel that connection, not only to the bike but to the community and other people coming in and out of the shop. Caitlin Krause is one of our customers. She's been one of our customers for about four years now. All the time I've known her, she's had a little red CB175 Honda and that is Probably one of the better maintained machines here in Austin. Customers like that are extremely important to us. Without them, we wouldn't have a shop.